One of the most important reactions in electrophilic aromatic substitutions is making a nitrobenzene, it's the nitration reaction. So we'll take a benzene ring, and to do a nitration, we react it with nitric acid, sulfuric acid, typically some other strong acid in addition to nitric acid, and we will get a nitrobenzene. Now, nitrobenzene by itself is, is not that impressive a molecule, but it's what you can do with the nitrobenzene. You can reduce this to an aminobenzene. There is a lot of rich chemistry around aminobenzene. Now, I can call it an aminobenzene, or I can more properly call it an aniline. An aniline is simply an amino benzene. So the key transformation here is being able to convert the nitro benzene into an amino benzene or an aniline. So how do we do that? Turns out there are about a hundred, and I'm not exaggerating, there are a ton of different ways to perform this reduction. Now we can do some of the classic methods like hydrogen and palladium on carbon that reduces nitrobenzenes to uh, anilines. Another really common method is uh, to use iron, iron, metallic iron, so we'll write iron zero, zero oxidation state iron, and some HCl. That's a really mild way to do this, and there are, I mean, tons and tons of ways to do it. But these are two of the classic methods. Um, iron and HCl in particular is a pretty mild uh, way to do this transformation. But making anilines is a very important step to the history of organic chemistry. And we're going to find once we have an aniline, we can do all sorts of transformations. So it's if you look at what we've been able to do with benzene rings, we haven't done that much. I mean, when have we been able let's try to speak, we've been able to put things like alkyl groups on here and acyl groups. We've done halogens, nitro. We put now an amine, but not a whole lot. How about all the other atoms we might want to put there? We really haven't addressed them. Well, it's, it's through the making an amine on the benzene ring that will be able to stick other R groups on the ring. So this is this is really a gateway molecule to allow us to put more things on our benzene rings.